Hi everyone, my name is Peter Loshak. Today is Thursday, July 25th. It's about 5.15 Eastern time right now, so uh, getting this out a little bit, the video out a little bit late for the for the Thursday night games, although the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Friday overnight lines are out. A bunch of plays I already hit, and of course I will uh, share those with you, and a bunch of plays also from the Friday games that I'm thinking about jumping on early tomorrow as, uh, as soon as the lines come out. All right, some of the peripherals. All right, so for the, uh, for the Thursday games, you know, uh, the Colorado-Washington game is still in in progress but yeah San Diego first five team total under and Colorado first five team total under at one and a half on both of them were two plays that uh, that I did hit you know uh, yeah, these games are uh, they are unfortunately already off but uh, one of the plays in general that uh, that I like to hit that I think still has a uh, you know value uh, year in and year out in uh, in MLB uh, is some of these first five inning team total unders at one and a half going up against, you know, like top five pitchers like Kershaw and um, and DeGrom and Scherzer and all those kinds of guys. So there were two today. We missed them. They were in the afternoon. But all right. So for the evening games, uh, you know, the Yankees, of course, huge offensively in the Minnesota series, which uh, which I was all over the uh, the Yankees over uh, yesterday, team total overs and everything. Uh, and today uh, I hit it again. I hit the Yankees' first five team total over at just two and a half, and the full game at just five and a half, which seems a little bit weirdly low considering how much Portello has struggled recently, how, you know, obviously awesome the Yankees' lineup is, and playing and the game being played at Fenway. And there's been some line movement that, that I don't quite understand. I've seen actually some, uh, some line movement to the under um, on the first five team total that I don't quite get. But we saw the same thing yesterday. With uh, with the Yankees in the against Minnesota, with Hap against uh, I forgot who was starting for um, I forgot who the hell was starting for uh, for Minnesota, but uh, but in that game as well, uh, you know I thought the first five over was a good play at six, and it actually got bet down to five and a half. I didn't know what was going on. Obviously, some sharp money liked the under in uh, in that game, and uh, it actually made me make my bet less huge than uh than I would have without that information but of course the game sailed over easily the Yanks crushed uh uh who the hell was the starter for uh for for Minnesota I can't remember but um yeah tonight I'm looking at the same kind of thing I'm looking at uh Yankees team total over at just five and a half and the first five uh team total over at just two and a half with Porcello struggling so you know we'll see money has come in uh, on the under, not quite understanding why, but it's definitely been uh, been coming in, and uh, I'm gonna I'm just going to ignore it for now. But definitely hit the Yankees uh, team total overs, and I also hit a little bit the first five over and the full game over as well. Minnesota White Sox is another interesting game. Of course, Giolito has uh, really come into his own this year. Uh, the question is, how long can he keep it up, and will he be able to keep it up in a spot like this against a tough uh, Minnesota offense? Not exactly sure. My guess is Giolito will be okay here, and I did take Minnesota on the second half at minus 120. I'm going to stay off the full game line. Not sure what to expect from Giolito. Obviously, if Giolito gets hit, that makes my uh, my play on the Minnesota second half a little bit less, um, you know, uh, less valuable. I would. I'm hoping one way or another that Minnesota the game's you know either tied or Minnesota's down in the sixth inning. But we'll see. We'll see how, how Giolito does. And I did take Minnesota on the second half at uh, minus 120. And then the only other play that I really hit uh, was Baltimore Angels' first five over six. You know, this guy for Baltimore looks vulnerable. Suarez vulnerable for the Angels. Baltimore can hit a bit. And the total just looks like it's hanging a little bit low here. The Angels do have some starting pitching issues right now. If they if they weren't having uh, all the uh, all the weird you know health issues and everything that they've been having this year, Suarez definitely wouldn't be getting a start. But they don't really have any other options, so they're starting him. So I took a shot with the first five over six in that one. Minnesota second half minus one twenty, and the Yankees team total overs to uh, to uh, to hit Boston, and that's about it. I'll look a little bit more into uh, the Detroit Seattle game. That line came out late, but uh, as of right now, I got uh, got no. And the Texas Oakland game is very interesting, but I got no plays on those as of right now. The opening lines for tomorrow, Friday, July twenty sixth. I hit a few pretty solidly. And I think they're decent plays. I hit the Dodgers minus one, and that line has already gone up since I hit it. It's now looking like it's close to 170. I hit it, I think, at uh, 150 or 155. Forgot what I got it at, but um, but I got a good number there, and it's climbing up. 
And um, I'm probably going to be liking uh, maybe Dodgers team total overs and maybe uh, Dodgers first five as well tomorrow. We'll see. But on the overnight line, I definitely pull the trigger. No brainer style on uh, the Dodgers minus one. I also took a shot with uh, Pittsburgh at uh, the big underdog at plus 155. This guy, Agrizal for uh, for Pittsburgh, you know, has some questionable peripherals, but, you know, also has some nice upside. Kind of similar to Wheeler. Obviously, I grade Wheeler a bit higher right now, but I'm not sure that I'm seeing, um, especially after the uh, the kind of disastrous uh, uh, home, home uh, series against the Cardinals. This might be a nice change of scenery for Pittsburgh, and they do have some, uh, you know, some good bats in their lineup. So uh, I took a shot with Pittsburgh at plus 155. That might even be uh, worth taking a shot on the minus one line on the reverse run line or something there, because there should be some high volatility here. Wheeler will probably either go seven innings and give up one run or, you know, give up five by uh, in, in his uh, by the fifth inning. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. Another one I hit, no-brainer style. Arizona minus one, Granky against Alcantara. Alcantara, the Miami in general has had issues at home this year, and uh, Granky, no reason to believe that he won't be as reliable as ever here. Alcantara struggles with uh, with control. I'll probably be looking hard at Arizona on the first five innings tomorrow as well, but I definitely uh, pulled the trigger on Arizona minus one. Definitely pulled the trigger on Minnesota minus one. This guy, Dylan Cease, is not the same as Giolito. He should be vulnerable. And uh, Pineda, you know, not exactly, you know, he might go six innings, give up one run. But, you know, maybe a little bit more likely he'll give up uh, three or so. Uh, probably won't get crushed, though. But uh, Minnesota's looking very, you know, Cease is looking very vulnerable uh, against the Minnesota lineup. So I'm also going to be looking at Minnesota team total overs, first five and full game. Probably uh, take a shot with the full game over 10 as well. Maybe the first five innings over. And definitely pull the trigger on Minnesota minus one, though. And I'll definitely be on Minnesota team total overs tomorrow as well. Another game I pulled the trigger on. Houston at a very low line against St. Louis. It'll be interesting to see where this one closes. Uh, Houston against St. Louis. Of course, Flaherty has been better recently, but... He still, you know, has, uh, you know, before his last few starts, which were, which were, you know, which were very nice, uh, he was getting, you know, hit, start in and start out. And this is not going to be an easy assignment for him against the Houston lineup. And uh, this Houston pitcher, a lot of volatility with him. But, uh, but you know, he, 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 his last start was excellent. Can he do it again on the road? Not sure this will be a tougher assignment, but still, uh, considering the low line, I definitely pulled the trigger on Houston minus one. I got a dog line there, and I might uh, think about Houston team total overs tomorrow as well. We'll see, but uh, but I definitely hit Houston minus one, and I guess that's uh, that's about it for now. There's a bunch of other games on tomorrow's card that I'm going to have to look into a more in, more in depth to see if I want to uh, to see if there's anything in them that I like. Uh, but the 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 uh, the automatic plays that I hit as soon as the opening lines came out were Dodgers minus one, Pittsburgh. Arizona minus one, Minnesota minus one, and Houston minus one. And that's it for now.